He was turned away from major tournaments and deported from Australia for refusing the COVID vaccine at the height of the pandemic. But current U.S. Open champ Novak Djokovic now says... I was never anti-vax. Yep, you heard right. Novak just told John McEnroe he's not anti-vax. I was always pro-freedom to choose. There's a huge difference. But every anti-vaxxer was pro-choice. No, 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 no. They're not saying you shouldn't get it. They're just saying I don't want to get it. I, I didn't feel like we, you know, a lot of people had a choice, really. And I was encountering that on a, on a daily basis. Allow people to have a choice. Yeah, but that is the anti-vax position. No, it's not. By the way, I'm talking, I've had five vaccines. So I'm not saying- and you've had COVID like 19 times. I've had COVID once. Yeah, but he never died. This guy just gets stronger. <laughs> it's terrifying. But back to Djokovic. He was upset that the government of Australia would not let him in that country to play. No, he's upset because he was saying, I'm 30 feet away from everybody. I take private jets. I don't expose anybody to anything. He was excoriated. And being treated as, as, as really a villain of the world. You know, I just wanted to compete. We're guessing this guy can relate. But isn't that his point? Is that people were strong-armed to getting the vaccine and he felt like it should be more of a choice? You cannot argue that. That's like arguing that the polo vaccine, like- Not the polo vaccine, polio. Oh my God, <laughs> I was so close. The polo vaccine is what got everyone off horses. I was so close. Close only counts in horseshoes and COVID exposure. Congrats on the open, Novax. I was never anti-vax.